Widower, Part 2. He knows the subject well, but he needs to score high marks on the final exam. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. No, no, I'm not his mother. I'm a friend of his teacher's. Yes. I'm writing down everything. We'll be there tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Yes, thank you. All the best. Bye. Hey, teacher's friend, are you going to pay for him? His parents will pay for him. Girls, one more call and I'm all yours. Dinner is almost over. You're going to miss it. Sorry, sorry. I need to make a really important phone call. Hold on. Is this Olga speaking? Hello. Uh, I'm just giving you a call about Anton. Uh, yeah, I'm his teacher's friend. No, no, you didn't quite hear me correctly. I'm just his friend. I'm not his wife. <laughs> no, I She's don't lost need to see a tutor, but we think Anton might need one. She's just in love, is all. <laughs> yes, all of that sounds great. Yes, she is. Yes, I'm writing it She's down. Doing it again. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, my dear. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. You seem to be so happy to be taking on this guy's life. You take care of his house, and now you're solving his, his problems for him. Yeah, Larissa's right. You're taking everything on again. Are you that in love with him? Yes, I am. Ladies, I need your help. I want to renovate my kitchen. Wait, 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 wait. Renovate your kitchen or renovate his kitchen? Our kitchen. Oh my <laughs> god. <gasps> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? What's going on? They're having some problems over at the European office. Higher up say Vera has to go there. It has to be sorted at the European office. Mm. I told them Vera was dealing with some personal issues, but they said she's the most qualified, and it has to be her. And when do I leave? Okay. Ladies, let's go ahead and finish the ceiling. And then we'll take a break. Vera? Yeah? Could I draw a little flower here to leave my mark under the paint? Why leave your mark? Nobody's gonna forget how dumb you are. Enough, enough, enough. You can do it, but um, a little closer to the chandelier. Told ya. Are you hungry? Yeah. I guess you can have some cake now. Will Mr. Andreevich mind that you let us have cake? Mr. Andreevich is so tired after getting home from working all day with you that he can't even eat. Thank you, Tanya. Vera. Vera. Mm-hmm? Can I ask you a personal question? Personal question for you? Nothing's personal with Tanya. She's totally hopeless, and she wants to ask you nah. all about your private life. Okay, let's hear it. Mm. How did you and Mr. Andrevich first get together? You're such an idiot. Vera, you don't have to answer that. Mm. Why not? I'll tell you. At first, Boris and I, well, we were just friends. I helped him with everything and supported him. Was it love at first sight? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, yes. And what about for him? Love at first Tanya, sight? Tanya, have you completely lost your mind? Oh, stop it. It was so sad. He mm -hmm. wouldn't see anyone That's then. enough. Hey, girls. Don't fight. Hmm. And then what happened? We started spending a lot of time together. And after a while, we started to realize that we made each other happy when we were together. And did you ask him out on a date right away? Of course not. <laughs> no. But, uh... I tried to deny my feelings for a long time. And then... It, it just felt so right that we started to realize that he and I were destined to be with each other. And you're not getting married? We don't need to get married for our relationship to work. But having a wedding dress... Don't you want a veil and a big party? <laughs> Might be nice. Girls, you know, I was married twice before Boris. Twice. There were balloons and a lot of guests, mm. and I wore a dress. A very beautiful dress. And... Nothing good came of it in the end. It's just the way things are. Oh, come on. It can't be like that. Every girl grows up dreaming about her wedding day. Sorry, Stop this whole thing it. is just... <laughs> I don't know. I just don't understand. Tanya. What? 
Vera, can I ask you, do you think Mr. Andreevich thinks of them a lot? How could you ever forget people that you loved so much? Eat your cake. Finally, someone who works here. You could grow old trying to find someone to help around here. What are you looking for? I need some shower curtains. Look in the bath section. Oh, in the bath section. Do you have any plain white ones? We have everything. Uh, thank you. He must be a newlywed. He hasn't yet realized his wife can do all this. And my husband just wants to be able to buy sausages, motor oil, and a suit all in the same store, you know? <laughs> yes. He dealt with his grief. Not everyone could overcome that. Thank God a good woman found him. God bless them. I don't know. I don't think I could marry a widower. Come on. You could search the whole world. And you'd never find a man as good as our Boris. I'm not trying to... say anything bad about him. He's a very good man. And she's a nice woman as well. And God bless them. I really like Vera. She's a very interesting woman. And, just between us, that Elena was something else. Be quiet. You can't speak that way about well, a dead woman. Okay. What I really meant to say was... Pipe down. You can't speak that way about a dead woman. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it smells. It smells so bad. I think it's stronger than before. Just close your eyes and try to imagine mm. that the paint smells like a rose bush. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> it says on the can that the smell will only last three hours. That's false advertising. Oh, you can't believe everything you read. I say that as someone who teaches literature. <laughs> I'm starting to feel dizzy and my back hurts and I want to laugh because I'm so happy. And you know what they say about laughing for no reason? <laughs> 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 you know, in my old life, I thought I loved my husbands. Not both of them at the same time, but each of them separately. Isn't that ridiculous? So, I'm the first one? Heartbreaking. You're my first love, Boris. Really? Mm-hmm. You're a little old to be having your first love. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Boris. Who? We're not going to have any kids. Um, what I mean is, I can't have children. I'm really sorry you can't have kids. I really am. But honestly, I don't know if I could love anyone like I loved Ilya. Because then I'd have tons of kids. They'd be running <laughs> around all over the place. I am not jealous anymore, but I only want you. And I still walk alone, like a victim to his death. So then I will call you, neither joy nor love. Some wild strange blood has been switched with mine. Just one more moment, and I will say to you, it is not a simple joy, 
or torment I find in you. And just like seeing a crime, I am drawn to you by your tender cherry mouth that you bite in confusion. Return to me now. It is awful without you. I have never felt more strongly about you. And at night, in dreams, and in reality, in pleasure and pain, I call out for you. I won't even try to guess who wrote that. Osip Mandelstam. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Have you been dancing long? <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, look, look, look. See this? Check it out. Okay. It looks like you. Where do you see the resemblance in that? You know what? These days, everything I see makes me think of you. Yeah? Yeah. Mwah. That's good, so tell me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what about this? Does this stick look like me? Um, yeah. Like, when you wake up in the morning, you look all disheveled like that. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm gonna throw it. Right in that tree there. Oh. It got stuck. It got stuck. <laughs> look at that. Look, Vera got stuck. Vera? Vera! 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 Vera, where are you, Vera? <laughs> Please don't joke like that again. It wasn't funny. I can't lose anyone else ever again. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I love you so much. I love you, too. Okay, all right, that's enough. I have two more buttons. Out of my way, Vera, out of my way. Let me do it. I am one of the best <laughs> packers in the world. Okay, I won't bother you. Hang on. For some reason, there's no evening dress here. I'm not going for very long. Yeah, but what if we have to go to the theater or something? Okay. Suit yourself. I don't know. Uh, maybe this one? What do you think? Let me see. Like this. Good? Well, now you're talking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. No one's ever helped me like this, Boris. Listen carefully. Your documents are here. Mm -hmm. Your medicine. Mm -hmm. Here's your cosmetic bag and jewelry. Mm -hmm. And here are your shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I won't go at all. I'm gonna miss you so much if I go. We can survive three weeks. Don't you think? Mm -hmm.
For the most part, you've got all of the planning down. The most important thing is to have the presentation ready next week. Think about the guest list. Um, invite as many people as you can. We'll inform them all about our new flights. Are your husbands from here, I'm guessing? Of course. How else would we get there? That's great. So they can invite all of their friends, family, and colleagues, and we'll tell them all about how they can travel the world and do it exclusively through our company. So, that's all. Thank you. Vera, would you like me to introduce you to my husband's brother? Seriously, I think he'd like you. You could marry him and start working with us, you know? I appreciate the offer. Thank you, but I'm set. Are you married? Uh... Yes. Do you have any more questions for me before I go? How's Moscow these days? Do you miss it? I do. So much. Especially my friends, you know? I had so many friends there and just Alice here, no one else. I keep telling my husband that we should go for at least a week. We can get a discount on tickets. But he won't budge. He says that Moscow is the most expensive city in the entire world. My husband didn't let me go see my mother when she was ill. He said to me, you're not a doctor. I didn't work then. I didn't have my own money. And my mom got better, but she was so upset. Of course, we're not complaining. It's um, amazing to live here. Um, could you point me to the nearest pharmacy? I need to pick up some medicine. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine. It's for someone else, the mother of one of my husband's students. You need a prescription here if you want something. They won't sell you anything oh, without well, one. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, do you want some souvenirs? There are some sales going on right now. Do you remember that one shop? The one with the... Hello. <laughs> Everything's fine, don't worry. The weather's great. I haven't been to the museum yet, but I bought lots of gifts. <laughs> That's great. And how are you doing? Boris, I'm sorry, but I'll call you back. Excuse me, um, you, you don't know, uh, uh... English? German? Uh, English. How can I help you? Ah, English. That's great. Uh, could you tell me whose villa this is? It's private property. Um, because that man who's just gone in there, I think, I think I might know him, and you I You can may... call him. Well, I would give him a call, but... I don't have his number. What's his name? See, the thing is, I don't remember. I can't help you. Um. Great.
Please don't freak out. You're not seeing things. It's me. Everything's okay. Follow me. Just relax. What do you have there? Gifts? Yeah. Hungry? Uh, don't speak. I'll explain everything. I didn't know the whole plan, Vera. Please, you have to believe me. He just said, leave the hotel at dawn with Ilya and don't bring any luggage. There will be a car waiting. I'll set everything up. Who? <sighs> My lover. I was visiting him at the seaside. We were dating in secret. I'm sorry, but I couldn't tell you what was going on. You know, I just fell in love. Oleg and I went to school together. We hadn't seen each other in years and then ran into each other. He was so gorgeous. His own business, cars, planes and yachts. And my relationship with Boris was so bad then. I... I was so tired of his school and his students. We never had money. We were practically living paycheck to paycheck. And Oleg said, come to the seaside and we'll talk. But I didn't know all that it was going to take. You have to believe me. How? How could you do that to Boris? Don't you think it hurt me too? Do you really think he wouldn't give you a divorce? All right, all right. What does it matter now, Vera? Uh, Oleg, organized this whole tragedy with a boat crash and our deaths. He just took me and Ilya and picked us up at the airport and put us on his plane. He didn't even let me call Boris or sort it out. Do you understand? This is really freaking me out and I'm hungry. Yeah, all right. Let's go. And then I found out that Oleg was having problems with his business partners and he had to leave the country. And he took me and Ilya with him. How could you do that? How? Stop saying that. How could I? How could I? What could I do? I fought with him. I threatened to call the police. So why didn't you call? And what would I tell them? That I, an adult woman of sound mind, got on a plane and crossed the border using a fake passport and that at home my family thinks I drowned. That's just great. They'd lock me up in jail or in asylum. And then they'd take my son. You could have let Boris know somehow that you and Ilya were still alive somewhere. But how? Tell him that I'm some kind of monster? And that I lied to him like this? He loved me. It's better to just mourn me once than go through that. But you should have seen him. How much he was searching for you and everything he went through after. Stop rubbing it in, Vera. I almost wish I really had drowned. Wait. Wait. So tell me. Tell me. Are you happy with your life no. now? No. Everything went wrong. Oleg was so different than I thought. He yells at me at Ilya. Ilya's become so shy and quiet. Do you remember how happy he was? Anyway. How has Boris been? Do you see him? Yes. We're living together now. Really? I'm happy for you. Boris is lucky. You're a great person.
meet Vera. How are you? Oh, uh, hello, Vera. How are you? Awful. Very bad. I need your help with something. Please, tell me what's going on with you. Well, I don't even know where to start. I'm not in Moscow right now. I'm calling you from a hotel room. I'm afraid that I'll lose signal. The thing is, Elena, who drowned at the resort, she's alive. Uh, I'm sorry. Slow down. I'm not understanding you. Where are you? Elena is alive. She planned everything with her lover and fled the country. It was all completely made up. Oh, what about her child? She had a son. Yes, he's alive too. He's with her. So her husband knows? No, he doesn't know. I don't know how to tell him any of this. Wait a minute, are you in touch with him? Yes, we're... Uh, I live with him. Boris and I, we've been seeing each other for a while now. Vera, as a psychologist and as a man, here's my advice to you. You need to tell him the truth as soon as you can. Wait, so you're saying I should just call him right now and tell him everything? No, no way, of course not. <laughs> you need to tell him in person, face to face. Okay. <sighs> That's scary. Let me introduce you to my husband, Richard. Vera is our boss from Moscow. Nice to meet you. Richard and I came to take you out dancing. Oh, thank you, but not tonight. Maybe next time. I, I'm so tired. Oh, Sorry, no. I just need Vera. to get some rest. Vera? And maybe uh, another day. No, 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 ladies, it's yes. Friday. Come on, we'll, we'll dance, just, we'll have fun. It's Friday night. Fun. It's no, Friday night. No, 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 come yeah. on, we are we'll going dance. out. We are having It'll fun, fun tonight. Just let's get this ready, let's go out. It's going to be fun. I just really don't think this is a good idea. Uh, why aren't you dancing? It's Friday night. Come on. No thanks. I don't want to. I see. So, why aren't you dancing? Richard, ask the lady to dance with you. I did. She doesn't want to. What's up? What's going on? I don't feel well. I need to go to the hotel. You see? She doesn't feel well. She's leaving. You Russians don't feel well anywhere. You're all so dramatic. You've got to let loose, have fun. I mean, as long as you can afford it. I don't understand. Why don't you just let loose and have fun? <laughs> it's always about money. I'm talking about life. Do you have a problem with that? Come on. You only ever think about money. Do you ever think about me? Don't you see how unhappy I am? How much I miss my parents? I haven't been home in three years, Richard. Russian? 
Yes. Me too. Don't cry. He loves you. It'd be impossible not to love a woman like you. That's not the problem. What is it? It's not about love. Everything in this life is about love. Hello. So, are you tired? Have you slept okay? No, everything's fine. Okay, tell me at home. Let's mm -hmm. go. Imagine, these guys organize a real riot at school. They've been watching too much TV. And now they want to organize elections and self-govern. Are you listening to me? Um, mm -hmm, yeah, I I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, get in. Mm-hmm. Two? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's good. Is there something you're not telling me? Mm. How was work? Who upset you? You're not going on any more business trips. really tired. Not today, okay? Okay. You want to go to bed? Yeah. the doctor. Boris. What's wrong? Boris. What is it? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm going to call the school and ask them to find a substitute to cover for me. No, please. There's no need. Everything's okay, really, Boris. And I need to go to work anyway. What do you mean, work? You're running a fever. Everything is fine. Really, don't worry about it. Can I make you some coffee? Yes. Thank you. I'm gonna go take a shower. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We missed you so much. All the clients were asking for you. So tell us, Vera. Uh, about what? Really? Tell us everything. How was your trip? Did you go shopping? Did you buy anything? Uh, it was a good trip. We opened an office. 
And the the city is very beautiful. Wait, are are you sick? No. Did Boris pick you up? No. Yes, of course he picked me up. Um. Hello. Damn it, a client. I'll take care of him, okay? Hello. Hang on, just one minute. Right this way. I... Good please, morning. Come in. Come on in. Have a seat, please. Uh huh. Thank you. Um. I called before about Thailand. There were deals going on for tours. Yes, of course. Could I have a look at your passport? Of course. Here it is. Excuse me. Whichever trip is soonest. Please forgive me. Larissa, please, can you take over? I'm so sorry. I promise I'll explain everything okay, later. Okay, go. What's with her? How's it going? Good to Hello. see you. Uh, are you coming on vacation with us to Valdai? We have to get the ticket soon, if you are. To Valdai? Yes. Maybe. N no, I don't know yet. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. Mm -hmm. How do I tell him? You're here. Hey. Why didn't you call me? I would have. I would have come out earlier. Um, Boris, we need to talk. Okay. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but I have to tell you. Elena's alive. I saw her. Boris, they're alive. Elena and Ilya. Mr. Androvich, are we gonna have practice today? Tomorrow at five. I'm sorry. Say say that again. They're alive. Why are you crying? Don't cry. What does he think of me? The father who doesn't call, doesn't write? Has he grown up? What does he look like? I don't know. Tell me, why didn't you go to him? Sorry, I'm sorry, Vera, I'm sorry. I'm going crazy, God. Boris, listen. The most important thing is that he's alive, right? Yes, yes. I'll book the flight to go see him tomorrow. Um, wait, wait a minute, Boris. What tickets? What about a visa and a passport? I wanted to go see you, I had everything done. Thank God I kept everything. All right, okay. Yep. Boris, maybe you should let Ilya decide on his own what he wants to keep. You're right. And you know what? You know what? Ilya will live with us. And Elena? God can judge her. If she loves Ilya, she'll do what's best for him. Come here. I feel like I'm in a daze. My God, it's amazing just how much one person's heart can take. Who could that be? I don't know, go <laughs> see. Oh my God, my son. Daddy, Daddy, I thought you were dead. I didn't believe them. They told me you were busy. 
dead. Do you promise not to die ever Mwah. again? Mwah. Boris, darling, I know. I know I have no excuse. Mwah. But I left. I'm through with everything else. You used to say, there's always a way to make things right. There's nothing that can't be fixed, Boris. Let's go, Ilya, okay? Daddy, I miss you so much, Daddy. Daddy, do you promise not to leave me again? Promise, Daddy, please. Thank you. Could I have two copies of that printed? Of course, but you'll be good to go with just your e-ticket, too. I'm still used to the way we did it in the old days. Grab a ticket and go. Will I get a confirmation email? Yes, that will send automatically. And well, if anything goes wrong, where should I go? You shouldn't run into any issues. Don't worry, everything will be okay. You can head over to Elena for payment and to receive the rest of your documents. Uh-huh. Sure. Good luck, sir, and have a good sure. trip. How can I help you? Just a second, sorry. If I don't like something during the flight, who do I complain to? Where's... Uh, to Almighty God himself. You'll already be in the sky with him. <laughs> what a joke. Come on, buddy. It's all printed out your for you. Your passport, please. Don't you recognize me? I always buy tickets from you. I'm sorry, but I need your information for our system. You used to recognize me right away. I'm glad you're doing business with us again. Two tickets to Murmansk. Open availability like last time? I knew you recognized me. Why the long face, Farah? You lose a bet? Can you sign here, please? Smile, Miss Vera. You've got such a lovely smile. Do you remember the cartoon about smiling? Please head over to Elena for payment and to receive the rest of your documents. Good luck and have a nice trip. What is going on today? Next, Why please. is everyone so sour? What? Is it something in the water? Solar flares. Any cake? Vera, I don't understand. How long can you be silent? I don't bother you about talking. You told us right. not to talk about it. And you don't have anyone to talk about but me? Vera, can I just say it? Say it. You look like you're about to burst if you don't get it out of your system, right? This thing with Boris. Keeps us up. All night. Well then get some sleep. Enough people are thinking about him. His wife has even come back from the dead. That's it. I can't understand. Don't understand how it is possible to forgive that kind of woman. Uh, it's just- He forgave her because he still loves her. And it seems I was just along for the ride. <sighs> Girls, enough of this, please. Can we just agree not to talk about this anymore? Please, let's not talk about this ever again. Understood? Please, don't bring it up again. Do you understand? Okay, that's it. We'll drop the subject. Yes, mother. Yes, I'm still at work. 
Then I'm going home. Mom, can you please just stop? How long can you keep this up? Yes, I am so unlucky, it's almost hard to believe, but I am alive and in good health, and there is no need to cry over me. Vera! Please forgive me for taking up so much of your time. What are you talking about, Vera? I'm glad you called to see me. Stop making me feel better. I know it's your job. No, Vera, you've never been my patient. If I were younger, I probably would have wanted to marry you by now. <laughs> Who needs an abandoned, crying, miserable woman like me? Oh, listen to you. <laughs> Vera, who are you trying to fool? Any man would be lucky to have a beautiful wife like yourself. Please don't. These days, not everyone can love and believe and move forward the way that you do. And on top of that, mm -hmm. you're beautiful, but you were just dragged into an awful situation. And because of some bad people, everyone suffered. Uh, listen to me, Vladimir. They didn't care about anyone, not about Boris, not about his child. It was our time to be happy, but happiness was for the highest bidder. <sighs> Tell me, do you think Boris could forgive her? Yes, he could. And how old is their son? He's seven. Oh, I see. He'll start school soon, so Boris decided the best thing for him now is to have a family that's calm and together. A rookie mistake. But isn't that what's most important, to provide a peaceful family for the child? No. I know it sounds unusual, but it's not true. It may seem like it's a peaceful family, but it's really not. A child who grows up in a family that's been rebuilt after it's shattered will always harbor some guilt towards both of his parents. It's easy for him to grow up blaming himself and feeling guilt for his parents being together. Oh, and by the way, their marriage will not make it. It's only a matter of time. Even if you are right, I don't want to think about it. That's for Elena to deal with, and everything will turn out OK. They will be happy together. <laughs> Vera? Is that really what you want to happen? Yeah. Come on, come on. Here. Careful, oh. it's slippery. Careful. Oh. <sighs> Dad, Dad, buy huh? me a cotton candy. Okay. <laughs> One cotton candy, please. Here you go. Thank you. Dad, try huh? it. Huh? Um. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> really? Can I let the balloon go yet? Did you buy it so you could let it go? No. He remembered how the kids let off the balloons into the sky when we went to Disneyland, didn't he? Yeah. At Disneyland, when we went, Uncle Oleg bought me a remote control what? helicopter. It was really cool. I'd show it to you, but Mom won't let me bring it back to Moscow. That's enough. <laughs> it's raining so hard. Okay, we'll let it go. <clears throat> Wait, you'll get wet. Wait for me. <laughs> ah, look at that, it stopped raining already. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go ride the big bikes. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. <Yeah. laughs> hey. Ooh. Come on. Faster, go, faster. Go, go, move it. Faster. <laughs> faster. Stop. Come, come on, on, stop. Come on. All, right, all right, all right, let's, let's stop do it. Here. Stop, Mom. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, Dad. <laughs> Dad, Dad, I'm letting come it go. Come on, come there on. There it goes. Bye, see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> what you're going through is perfectly normal. You're a woman who's in love, who's just going through a difficult breakup. It's okay. I can handle it, seriously. Everything will be okay. Well, of course. I've never been happy. I don't think it's something I could handle. Of course you could, of course. There's no doubt. I'm sure you could. But allow me, if you don't mind, to give you some good advice. Go find someone who's even worse. Like you? <laughs> Vera, I wasn't referring to me. Although, honestly, once you get clear of all this, I'd love to take you out for a coffee. It'd be my treat. 
But I know there's no use in going on a date with a woman who's in love with someone else. What are you watching? Mm. Ilya, maybe we should read Mysterious Island instead. Wait, let's read later. Dad, do you think Mom and I are stupid for laughing? Hey there. Laughing's not stupid. It's a good thing. <laughs> oh, it's for me. Listen, I, uh, I ordered something online. Gotta pay for it. How much? I, I don't remember. <laughs> Let me check. Sign here? Well... Mm-hmm. Here it is. Gimme! <laughs> Take it. <sighs> hey, look. Do you like them? Yeah, it looks great. Our old dishes. We're broken and all scratched up. Hey, Mom! There's no more money in the money box. At all? Boris, why didn't you tell me? I can return them. It's okay, don't worry. I'll borrow from someone till I get paid. Boris, it's not for me, you know? I did it for Ilya. He's seen Oleg's house. The furniture, dishes, all the nice silverware. We agreed that we wouldn't speak about him again, all right? <sighs> Ilya, my boy, did I frighten you? Have you heard the proverb, lovers' quarrels are soon mended? We weren't arguing. Well, we've got new beautiful dishes, am I right? Mm-hmm. Run upstairs. We got new dishes. We got new <laughs> dishes. We got new dishes. Uh, by the way, I was wondering, where did you get this, uh, this picture? Is it Vera's? Yeah. Well, it's nice. Let's keep it. I kind of like it. And I've packed her clothes and the other things that she left. Maybe we should return them? Yes, don't worry. I will return them. Boris, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I acted like an idiot. I know that this isn't what's really important. Really? And what is really important? Well, to save money for a new car, we can't drive that old thing. It's ridiculous. I see. Hey. 
Where are you going? Well, until we buy a brand new car, I have to fix the old one. I need to change a headlight. It's me. Hello. How are you doing? I'm great, and how about you? I'm doing okay. Are you busy? Um, yes. Sorry, I have guests right now. Oh. Sorry for interrupting. It's okay. Is something wrong? No, don't worry. It's okay. Everything's fine. I just wanted to hear your voice, that's all. Well, I'm sorry. Something wrong with Ilya? He's fine, he's sleeping. And what are you doing here? I thought you went to see her. I told you I took the car to the mechanic to get fixed. <laughs> Boris, I understand it's hard to forgive me. You're a saint for even giving me a chance, but you have to understand Let's what I'm- Let's go upstairs, Ilya could wake up. Have you noticed that I am right in front of you? Don't you see my pain, Boris? You don't see anything, do you? Any of it. Ever since we've been back, it's like you won't even look at me anymore. What in the world do you want from me? Stop! I wish I really had died out there. What good did it do, me coming back? What was it for, Boris? Why Calm did I down. come back? If you're not gonna forgive me, why? I don't Calm understand. Down. Come on, let's I go. don't! Is it because of her? Answer me when I'm talking to you. It's not my home anymore, it's hers. The Lower second voice, I step late. back in, I could tell you were perfectly fine without me. Tell me! Was it better than with me, Boris? Are you okay with me taking you out? And where are we going? Surprise, Vera. We're already here. Here? That's right. I have to visit one of my patients here. Her son is extremely ill. Could you just wait here for a minute? Yes, of course, of course. Oh, Natasha, it's, it's good nice to see, see you. you. Hi, Hello, nice dear. To see you. Don't worry, everything is okay. okay. I'm glad to see you. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead and go in there and we'll okay. discuss everything. Thank you, doctor. Be right in. Please, Vera, 
While you're here, walk around. Feel free to meet the kids. It's therapeutic for them to be around young, healthy people. Nice ladies like yourself. Okay. Thank you. So the nurse will take care okay. of you for the rest of the day. Just make sure you get plenty of rest and stay. Whose mother are you? No one's. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. Do you want to stay and play with us? Sure. But we don't have any toys. No toys? Um, there's no one to give them to us. Our mom's in the hospital, too. Let's go to the trauma ward. It's really cool over there. Come with us and you can play with the crutches. Well, okay, let's go. Let's go. And do you think you could also call our mom? Well, do you know your mom's phone number? The nurse won't tell us. Uh, okay then. How about I ask her for the number, and then I'll try calling your mother, okay? okay. Let's play really fast. We have to go to dinner soon. Let's play. Let's and play what are we pirates. playing? So you're gonna sit here. Okay. This will be our ship. We're sailing on the sea, mm -hmm. and I'm the captain. Man the mess, sailor! Attention, crew, there's an unknown ship ahead. Look out! Yay! Boom. Be careful, be careful. Explosion. Hey, look, how about we play bandits so we can play in the woods instead? Otherwise, I'll get seasick on this ship. Okay. Great. Yes! What are we doing? Yay! Oh, you are bandits! And who <laughs> will rescue me? Hey, step up. You be a bandit, and I'll come on the white horse to save her from the bad guys. No, I'm not the bandit. I'm going to save her. I'll come riding on my horse. And how will you ride the horse like that? You can't. You're on crutches. Dinner. <laughs> Quickly, time for dinner. It's dinner time. We just started to play. Here you go. And I don't want to go. Are you going to yeah. visit us again? Uh, of course. Just, I'll give your mother a call. I'll visit her in the hospital and I'll come back. What's your mother's name? Nadia. Nadia Pavlovna Kruglova. I'm Stepa and he's Yura. Hmm. Yura and Stepa. It was nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> well? They're from outside the city. Okay. From a tiny village called Azerki. Their mother died in ICU. No one's told them yet. They're looking for relatives. <sighs> That's terrible. How did it happen? An accident. They took a shuttle bus to the train station, and the shuttle flipped, and the driver, he died at the scene. Two adults and two kids are here with various degrees of trauma. And what about their family? Do they have any relatives? I don't know. They're looking for them, but there's no one so far. Hello, looking for someone. Please excuse me, did you know Nadia Kruglova? Of course I know her. How couldn't I? She's my neighbor. Half the floor is hers, the other half is mine. Please, come in. Thank you very much. Let's go. I'll take you there. Mm -hmm. How are the boys doing? Are they in the hospital? Yes, they are, but they're doing better. Where will they send them? To an orphanage? If they don't find any relatives. Oh. Nadia didn't have any family. No one at all? Oh, I don't know. She had no brothers or sisters. She was so happy to have Stepa and Yura. She said they were lucky to be twins, because they'd always have each other. Oh, God, how awful. Had she ever spoken about a husband? No, there was never a husband. We live in a small village. Everyone sees everything. When she moved here, she was already pregnant. Did you ever see anybody come to help her out? She did it all herself. Well, sometimes we'd help her as neighbors do. She had a good job in Moscow, and she didn't have to work every day, you know? And where did she work? Um, in a publishing house. You know what? I, I think I have the address. Come on, come on in. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. She loved her boy so much. She did everything, everything for her sons. <laughs> Just a moment. You said that she was already pregnant when she moved here. Do you know where she came from? No, no, she never told me. I, I didn't really ask her either. 
She told me she was from Siberia, but I don't remember where exactly. So the only way to find out is through where she worked. Uh-huh. Here. Here it is. Just a moment. Look. Here. Look. Mm-hmm. Look. Here's the address. Here. Right here. Uh, her address is That's that great. way. Do you have a pen or something yes, I can yes, use yes, to of copy course. it down? Yes. Here. You can take this with you. At first I thought you were from her work. How did you know her? I'm from the hospital, where the boys are staying. And do they know? No. You know, we, uh... (sighs) The neighbors collected some money. Maybe you can give it to them? Don't worry about that. Okay. Not yet. Uh, If anything happens, I'll let you know right away. Mm -hmm. Please give them my regards from Aunt Kate. Of course. Of course I will. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. (laughs) Look what I've brought for you. Here. And these right here. Look. Did you talk to her mom? Um, I spoke to her doctor. And she can't be disturbed right now. Do you think that everyone can play bandits again? Of course we are. I don't understand. What does that mean? It means they gave her some shots so she can sleep. Look at the planes. Do you like them? Then tell them to wake her up. We really miss her. Vera, do you have children? No. Why not? I just don't. Here you go. Want a banana? Our mom didn't have children for a very long time, and then suddenly, one day, Yura and I were born. I was the one that came first, and then Yura. (laughs) Want one? I want an apple. Okay. Somehow I knew you'd be the last one to leave. I have nowhere to go in a hurry. Maybe we could go somewhere? To talk it out? About what? There's something we need to discuss. You're still like a second wife to my husband. How's Ilya? He's at home. I wanted to get him enrolled in school, but it's not happening. Anyway, he'll start in September. Does he have any friends? Yeah, he has some friends. From next door. Mmm. This coffee is terrible. Why is it so bad in Moscow? They can't even make good coffee. It's not like in Europe. You know, there it's delicious in every single cafe. Drink some tea, then. Why haven't you asked me about Boris? Do you want me to ask you? You've changed. You're not as naive as you used to be. Things with Boris are bad. Very bad. I'm not his wife anymore. Everything will be okay. Mm Mm-hmm. We'll be dead before it gets better. Tell me the truth. Are you seeing him? You must not know him very well. You didn't answer me. No, Elena, I'm not seeing him. You think you know him better than me? Do you? Yes, I do. He is kind, and he is intelligent. He has integrity, and he's incapable of lying. If he told you that he forgave you, it means that he really did. If he's so great, then why did you let him go so easily? Excuse me. Vera, wait. Don't be angry with me. I'm not myself. You need to understand we're a family. Well, then stay out of our lives! Nadia was a wonderful woman. She was so responsive and so kind. She's always helped everyone. 
She told me that her mother died when she was a little girl. It's so unfair how the same is happening to her boys. Did she ever tell you anything about the father of her sons? No, never. Um, maybe about her friends. She was very shy. She lived far away in a little village. She didn't really have friends here. But she always told us about her sons. We knew everything about them. I knew that something would happen. Well, why would you say that? <sighs> well, she always said that it was so good to have two kids in the family. Hold on. <gasps> they won't be sent to an orphanage. Or will they? I don't know. I'm sorry we couldn't help you. Thank you. Thanks. We were useless. Bye. Goodbye. Excuse me, miss. Hello. Hello. Were you the one talking about Nadia? Did you know her? Yes, I did. I knew her. Do you work here in the office, too? No. I'm, uh, I'm a writer. An author. I write about historical events. And? Never mind. Forgive me. Have Goodbye. a nice day. Excuse me. I am Nadia's sons. I might be their father. Nobody ever knew about our affair. Are you married? Yes, I am. Hmm. I don't even know if you could call it an affair. Nadia was the one who edited my book, and we met up a few times at my place. And when my book was published, Nadia, I moved to Lithuania with my family. I came back six months later and didn't call her. She didn't call me. When I found out she had kids, I thought they might be mine. Do you want to see the kids? I don't know. I've been married for 30 years. We have grandchildren. She has a weak heart and I... I don't know how to tell her. You don't need to tell her about it. Believe me, I'm a decent human being. If I'd known I had kids before, I would have helped them. But now I can't. I'm not ready for this. It's better if they don't know about me. Oh, God. They don't know that their mother is dead yet. Please excuse me. Vera, can I interrupt you for a moment? No, not right now. Vera, are you going to stay here all night to fill out applications? Well, I'm not on the clock. We are your friends, Vera. You can't just decide out of nowhere that you're going to adopt two nearly grown boys. You know that, right? Me. Oh, God. Vera. Vera, listen to me. If you want to have a baby, you can adopt a little one. People do it all all the time. Vera, just one sec. You haven't tried everything yet. Do you know about IVF? It's becoming really popular. You could even have a baby by yourself, Vera. Listen, we feel awful about those boys, but you need to understand you can't take on more than you can afford. Vera, these boys have been scarred for life. There's no way you can just replace their mother. Vera, my son grew up to be a jerk, but he's mine. They were born from another woman. You'll be responsible their whole lives. Vera, maybe it's better if you just visit them. Of course. To give them gifts, to talk to them, to support them. Come on, you know. If I get turned down because of my salary, I will kill our manager with my own hands. I don't think she's listening to us. I'm gonna call him. Call him. <clears throat> Hello? 
Mr. Pavlovich, good evening. This is Vera calling. I'm calling about my salary. I can't wait until the end of the year. You promised me I would get a raise last year. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Pavlovich, I really care about your problems. Do you know anything about my problems? No, I don't accept that. I can't accept it. I need... N no, I need an official raise with all the signatures and stamps. Otherwise, I quit. What? Do you hear me? I'll quit! <gasps> yes, I understand. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Vera, yeah, what did he say? I'm just waiting on the commission to confirm it. If they do, I'll be the happiest woman in the world. <sighs> Two jackets? Yes. Do you want them in the same size? For seven-year-old boys. Boys come in different sizes. They're about this, this tall. <sighs> What's their shoe size? Uh, for seven-year-old boys. Hmm. Yes. Great. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Don't forget to bring the receipt for exchanges. I won't need to. Have a nice day. told you about her? How she got seasick on the boat? Well, hello. Why don't you ask your friend to join us for some delicious ice cream? Please join us. Thank you, but I can't. I'm very busy. How about you come over to our place today? Ilya, thank you very much, but I'm too busy at work. Uh, say hello to your mother for me, okay? All right. Hey, Ilya, why don't you go ride your scooter? Bye. Bye, Ilya. Vera, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. It's not your fault. Uh, it's nice to see you. And I... Uh, I think a lot about... Well... Uh, say hello to Elena. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. I can't stop thinking about you, not even for a minute. What do I do about this? the cast tomorrow. They said that we're gonna get x-rays and then after that they'll take the cast off. Why did Mama have to die? They treated her so badly. Vera said that she hit her head when you broke your leg and I broke my arm and that nobody can live with a broken head. You should tell the children that you prepared the documents for adoption. Yes, Vera, it's time. We need the boys to think about it. They need to get used to the idea. They can't be taken like kittens from one home to another home. But how do you suggest I tell them? You should decide for yourself. Tell them that you love them. What if they don't believe me? Children are very intuitive. They can really sense it when somebody loves them. You're as crying all the time. It's all right for him to cry. I wouldn't bother him. But I think you'd better tell them as soon as possible. They deserve that. Yes, we can release them from the hospital. We're just waiting for the documents. Hello. Look what I've brought you. Take it. We don't need it. Don't you like it? Okay. I'll take it to the kids that are right next door. To the girls, they don't know anything. They don't know anything? Nothing. All right. Come here, I want to discuss something with the two of you. Ilya. 
Here's to you, Vera. To your victory. Let's make a toast. I'm happy that I could play a small part in all of this. Cheers. Mmm. And a small part. There's no way I would have gotten anywhere without you or your lawyers. Vera, all the bureaucrats are powerless against your will to win. What an accomplishment. You won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I cooked you a pilaf. Just a minute. Oh, really? It's burnt! <laughs> you burned all of it? It looks like a bunch of coal. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Vera. Don't worry about it. I'm not even hungry. Don't worry. I also have a cake for you. Oh, really? Uh, Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> and there goes the cake. Oh. Vera, I'm sorry, but you're flattering that thing by calling it a cake. It reminds me more of burnt offerings. <laughs> it's a good thing the commission didn't see whatever that is. So I think that deserves another toast. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> to every are. hopeless woman trying to find her way around the kitchen. No, no, no. I want to drink to a very talented lady <laughs> at the beginning of her new life. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm, can I show you how I've decorated the boys' bedroom? Of course. Mm, disgusting. What are you doing lying there, kitty? Let me just draw the <laughs> curtains. Oh! Oh! You're great with <laughs> curtains, too, I see. <laughs> I can't seem to get anything right anymore. It's just that I've just been so nervous these days. Don't with worry, Vera. I'll just call a good repairman, and I'll have it fixed in an hour or two. You know what, Vladimir? Yes, Vera? Do you think there's some kind of hypnosis that could make me stop thinking about someone else? There isn't. There's no such magic, Vera. You can't make someone love you or make someone stop loving you. Time, time heals most wounds, but not always and not for everyone. Don't be upset, Vera. Soon enough, you won't have time to think about anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. Don't say that. Hurry up, quickly. We'll be late for the bus. Make what a decision. is the teacher going to do with so many flowers? She'll sell them. Well, then? I like those flowers in that pot. No flowers in pots. Well, how come? Okay, we'll get the ones in the pot. And what about you? Let's get her that watering can. Why do you want a watering can? So that she can water Yura's flowers. That's right. We'll take the watering can. How much are these? One thousand. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, I'm sorry. Hurry up. We're going to miss the bus, guys. Come on! Oh, the bus left. I told you two to hurry. What are we going to do now? Late for class on the first day of school. How come Steppa gets to take the watering can? Good morning, Boris. Good morning, Vera. I'd like you to meet my two boys, Yura and Steppa. I've heard all about you two. Well, gentlemen, which school gets to fill your heads with knowledge? The 163rd. What a surprise. That's ours, too. We have a bit of time. There's no time to waste. We're late. Come on. Yes, thank you. Take off yes, your bags. Yes, let Be careful with the step. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Ilya. <laughs> Was it your idea, or was it hers? Well, it was mine. Oh, cool. I wanted to buy a crocodile instead of flowers. My dad said it's not a good idea to upset the teacher on the first day. They're no, all set? Cause the crocodile Great. <sighs> somebody. Uh, and where's you know, Elena? Really is she working today? I don't know, she maybe. Oh. I haven't seen her in a long time. Oh, where is she? <laughs> she ran away to Australia with a lover a long time ago. <laughs> and that's very far away. <laughs> take oh, your hands off, off my no, dad. Take your no, hands off. Dad. <laughs> and where no, is mine? Would you listen to them? I was here first. <laughs> he can be our dad. That's no, right. That's my dad. Who is that? He can be our dad. <laughs> <laughs>